Ignacio. Um, what I'm going to be defining now is brownfields on a, on a state level. In line with the EPA definition of brownfields, we are, brownfields are also defined as real properties that are contaminated or potentially contaminated that are not developed or underutilized due to this contamination. Next slide, please. So the Brownfields Program the State of Hawaii is managed, managed and administer, administered by two departments, the Department of Health, here office, that usually we are the one providing technical support, and the Department of Business and Economic Development and Tourism, Office of Planning. They have the money for the Brownfields, which is the Brownfields Cleanup Revolving Loan Fund, which will be the, discussed in detail by Ruby Edwards in the succeeding discussion. Next slide, please. So there are seven major components of our Hawaii Brownfield program. Number one is our state response program, the SRP 128A, which small amount of money is being used for phase one and phase two. We have also the voluntary response program, which, and then the Brownfields cleanup revolving loan funds I mentioned. We have the Hawaii Brownfields inventory, as well as the Brownfields forum, Brownfields Assistant Grant, and the Technical Support for Assessment and Cleanup. Next slide, please. So the Voluntary Response Program provides a mechanism for prospective purchasers and developers of Brownfields property to become exempt from liability for contamination that they didn't cause. The Voluntary Response Program now is being overseen by uh, one of our major project managers, Ben, Lindstrom, which will be discussed later in the session today. Next slide, please. So Brownfield's inventory was being developed in collaboration with EPA Region 9. It is developed for a public to provide a list of sites, hazardous and petroleum contaminated brownfield sites, to provide inventory of lists for to developers and nonprofit organizations. Next slide, please. There are two links in our website where you can access to this Brownfields inventory list. We have the old one, which we generated back in 2014, where it shows you the map. Next slide, please. It shows you the map of each counties. And each dot on each map will give you information about the property, the name of the property, the location, TMK, as well as the contaminants of concern. However, this website is very limited on the state-owned properties, state county, and sites that we use EPA Brownfields money. So, next slide, please. Next slide, please. How, now, there is an update in our public records we call IHEAR. In the IHEAR database, you can search for brownfield sites and it will give you the list of all sites in our database. There are approximately 168 sites listed under brownfields. Iris Bundersender will gonna be navigating or giving examples on how to navigate to search for, for brown field sites it, and it will be in the in the session tomorrow next slide please so the list of brown fields sites are categorized in this category sites that we use brown fields money for assessment and cleanup like sites under TOD, Honolulu Authority for Rail Transit, Kaka'aka Makai Development, East Kapolei. We also have some sites selected that are formerly used defense sites and BRAC sites. Sites with no further action determination, but with EHMP in place. Sites listed in different counties inventory, List as part of the assessment grant and contaminated sites that were cleaned up, developed, or reused. There's one that I missed. We also include sites in a low and medium priority sites. Next slide, please. So one of the one of the um, 
forum, one of the programs that we have is a Brownfields Forum or workshop, which we always hold in every other year. The objective of this workshop is to network and reach out to the community and provide updates on assessment, cleanup, and redevelopment of contaminated properties. We started this forum back in 2006, and we usually hold it in Honolulu. However, next slide, please. In 2000, and, oh, you, you went back. Slide, please. Next one. Okay, back in 2017, the Department of Health, your office, decided to reach out to the community in the, on a county level. So we had a workshop in Hilo in November 2, 2017. Mayor Harry Kim was invited in the workshop and he was very happy knowing that we reach out to the county level because he has a perception that Honolulu is, or that Oahu is very Oahu centric and they always, we always forget the county level. So next slide please. So we, we, start, we did another workshop in Maui, as well as in Kauai back in 2018. Next slide, please. So what are the assistance we give for Brownfield grants? So actually we can apply for, tar we apply for targeted assessment grant. We issue letter of support for Brownfield applicants and we provide technical support in the assessment and cleanup as what I mentioned before. Next slide, please. Okay, this is one example. The Kakaka Mukai District Development is one example of the successful Brownfields, Brownfields project. We were involved at the very at the very start of the development in the development of the John F. Bern, um, the, Medis, the Medis School of Medicine. I also oversight the development of Cancer Research Center, also the, the development of the piano lots as well as the 53 by the sea, which was formerly known as the John Dominis. Lately, we have the development, it's not shown in the picture, but we have the development of the entrepreneur sandbags, which is also one of the brownfield sites. I guess that's all for now. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you.